So you can see here we've got the uh, differential unit out the LT230 which we're going to fit this 1.3 ratio kit. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is ignore the background here. Ignore that. I can't be bothered tidying up. It's going to be just as bad tomorrow anyway. I'm going to use a little screwdriver bit and open up that stalking and then using the Ashcroft tool, back off that nut, but that wasn't very tight. Mind you, it's only 50 odd pounds, isn't it? It's not much. That should have been tighter than that. This one's been used about three or four times. That's not good, is it? Well, we can give that, we can give that the old slingsby. Now we've got to get that gear off here because this is the one we're going to be changing to this one. Right, so I'm going to disappear to my press and I'm going to, because this all comes off in one big unit, so I'm going to put the support under here, Next and press down here. Have a new gear. Give it an oil. Now I see that there's a Oh no, wait a minute, right, there's a bushing in there. I was going to say, I thought there was a bit of a difference. No, it's exactly the same. I just haven't got the bushing in. <laughs> what am I thinking of? There we go. There's the bushing. We have the gear. Now, we just have there's to put something the back on. on. I've just put the old nut back on. To, just to make sure this bearing was nice and tight and square because I've noticed this is a bit tight the gear's just a little bit tight not much now I'm not sure if it's the, there's supposed to be a selective sleeve in there but um, yeah I don't like that because look this is, how the, this is how the bottom one turns I mean, it's got to be in top gear. You can guarantee this is never going to go in low range in all its life. But, <laughs> it's not right, is it? So, uh, it's only about half a thousandth of an inch. It's not much. Um, hmm. yeah, it's just a bit too tight. I'm just a bit concerned about <laughs> the day it might ever go into low range that this might just get overheated. Right, so this is the sleeve. I'm not sure if they're selective. That thing there, and it goes in here like this. And when you tighten it down... Gee... It's, it's a little... If you feel it with your fingernail, it's a little bit proud there. Not proud there. Is, where's that tight spot? Oh, crying that loud. I washed it off with my fingernails. Low. Yeah. It was free here and tight here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Play safe. Take it down to JP and put it on his table. Because he's got some more accurate tools than my fingernails. And we'll but what we can do, it's it's really easy fix. We'll just take a put it on the surface grinder and just take a tiny hair off here. Just so that's not tight. It, it's not mission critical for it to be, you know, like sloppy. You don't want it sloppy, but you don't, certainly don't want it tight like it was. So let's go and see what he can fix up. So just back from the machine shop, uh, JP and I looked at this for quite a long time. And then we decided to, to do something. But what he seemed to calculate when he measured the thickness of here, he, he said we should have the correct uh, clearances. But it seems to be when we were looking at it very closely that this bush has developed a slight taper on it which I, I find hard to believe because the bearing goes on here then it's clamped by the nut so not unless this has been ch chattering up and down I don't know but it says the clearance should be 0 .0, 0 0.05 to 2 0 0.15 millimeter or two thousandth of an inch to six thousandth of an inch and you saw the other day it was sort of zero it was tight so what we've we got now well we'll put a bit of 
bit of lube on here, a bit of lube on there, a bit of lube on here, with our new gear. together and now it turns freely. We can test that by putting an old bearing on the top. doesn't matter if it's the right bearing or not but uh, it's just a spacer. You always check these things before you tighten things down, you know what I mean? Because otherwise you could put a transfer case together and it'd be too tight. So there you go, look at that. Lovely. Now we took three thousandths of an inch off that, so therefore, because it's machines in thousandths of an inch, it's supposed to be two to six thousandth of an inch, but that, there's no lift on that hardly at all, so it obviously was a bit tight. I'm going to assemble that, and then we're going to have a chat about something else we were talking about.